Hey guys, it's your girl Fit Sid, and I'm back with another video. I wanted to start this video by saying thank you guys so much for enjoying the last one. So I figured because you guys love my OnlyFans videos, let's do another. So with that being said, we are going to be talking today about settings on OnlyFans, and I know a lot of you guys had questions about this topic, and I feel like once you play around with it, like my biggest tip for people that are struggling with OnlyFans is yes, it's great to ask questions, it's great to ask other girls that use the platform, but once you play around with it yourself a lot of things can be answered I know for myself when I was first starting out I didn't know how to do anything but as I've gotten more involved in doing it because I do spend a lot of time that's the easiest way for you to learn so if you are struggling try to get hands-on with the program and figure it out yourself and if other girls can help you that's awesome all right so a little bit of background before we get into everything my name's Sydney hi I have OnlyFans I've been doing it since November 2018 so I've been on the there for a hot minute if this is your first time watching me hi welcome to my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on my socials and if you guys are new and haven't started OnlyFans yet here's my referral link if you guys use it you guys can be part of my referral squad and all of my Sid stars is what I like to call them and uh, you can get some help from the other girls you can get instant help from me and yeah we're just like a really great community and it's been really fun kind of accumulating referrals and seeing like what everyone does that's so different and tips that we can all I'll share so with that being said if you guys are new here's my referral link it'll also be in the description down below if you guys are curious with that I do make a little bit of a commission off of it so just a little disclaimer that yes it is a affiliated link I'm not getting paid but I am receiving compensation from the link so I just wanted to give that disclaimer that it is benefiting me in some way let's get into this so I have a decent amount of questions so we're just gonna go through them randomly and hopefully it'll help you out all right so the first question is does only fans automatically recharge every month or is it something you have to choose in your settings so I wish that it would automatically recharge for everyone but the case is when someone goes to subscribe on your profile they can pick auto renew or it can be a one-time like they choose not to resubscribe and it either gives you a reason or no reason at all so you can always check if people are subscribed there's a spot in your settings that has like a tab and um, I'll hopefully include a graphic right here for you just with the subscribers expired current fans fan stats all that stuff that you can always look at so if someone is about to like not have access to your content then that's a way also if someone deletes their account after they've already paid you and the payment has gone through you do not get that taken away so it's super nice but um, I do wish that it automatically did it for everyone but when they have the promotion it gives them the promotion and then after that it's the normal price but I know for a while there was a glitch saying like it didn't auto renew so I definitely wouldn't count on auto renews I think that it's very important for you to encourage as a model your fans and subscribers to auto renew if you're doing a promotion because for a long time there which I don't do promotions so I actually don't know that answer off the top of my head with promotions you should always encourage them to stay around and like enjoy more of your content that's just something that I noticed because I know originally it always auto renewed and then they changed that in their settings next question is can you age restrict your only fans so only fans is 18 and up no matter what so when you're age restricting that's already a thing they have to prove you're 18 or older so it it will make them prove that before like with their credit card next is should I enable or disable show post tip summary I really don't understand what it means does it mean it shows your tips publicly if I turn it off can I still receive tips from my impression of that I am pretty sure that yes they can see the tips on the videos but if you turn it off then people don't so it's something that I personally I think mine are on but like you can definitely turn it off next one is how do I send a picture through messenger super easy you just hit the plus in the corner to send a message or you hit the chat that you're trying to do it and then there is a little picture button and you just click that really easily and then it opens up your phone camera or your computer documents area and then you can easily upload that or a video or whatever else you want and there's also the feature to make a message price so if you wanted to do that you can just type that that in and charge for it so it's a very helpful feature that you have and everything on there how do I verify my OnlyFans so for OnlyFans everyone has to be verified to even withdraw their account money or even be able to have people pay for their OnlyFans so when you first make your account you have to submit your IDs a W9 and anything else that they ask for so like putting in your bank account info and that is how you verify your OnlyFans all the little OnlyFans have a check mark next to the name how to be featured on OnlyFans search function so 
that's a, actually an amazing question. I don't know the answer to it on my own, but I do know that if you want to pop up in other people's OnlyFans, the easiest way to do that is to add and have other models that you're friends with add you as a friend. That way theirs will pop up on yours and vice versa. So when you add each other, it's like helping each other out and it'll be suggested on the side. Next one is, is it 100% web-based or is there an app for OnlyFans? So OnlyFans is considered an 18 plus content app, so that means that they do not have that on the app store and I don't know, I think maybe Android has it or maybe not, but I know that it used to be on the app store and then it was taken off. So because it's 18 plus and it's adult content related, they do not have it on there, so I don't expect that ever happening. But you can make an iPhone like home icon and they have that on their OnlyFans blog, but you can check their blog for some actual information. I didn't realize how helpful it was until probably three months ago I had a question and the answer was right there. So the next question is, when you look up an account you're not subscribed to, why are some fully locked and others show us some posts? So that's actually in your settings. So when you're doing that, you can choose to make your profile 100% private or you can just have it where it's not private. So private means that there's just locked and then the other version which is how my profile looks. So if you were to go to it and you're not subscribed, you can see the caption but you can't see the content and I don't think you can see comments or anything like that. I think it's really awesome to have mine open to other people. In your settings, it just says profile privacy. Fully private profiles are what she was talking about in the comment and that's called fully private and that's not what mine is. So that will hide the text. I personally feel like it's more professional not having the text hidden. That way people can see it and see what they are missing out on or what they maybe could look forward to. Then you have the option to enable comments. So let them comment. Show fan count on your profile, which I have turned off of mine just because I don't like to have that on there and then show tip post summary and then public friends list so the friends list is where it's that suggested area that I was talking about before can you change the subscription price after you already set it yes you can always go through and edit it so if you're like oh I made it too low or I made it too high and you want to change it you always can it will only apply to the next month so just for record next question is can you delete or disable an OnlyFans account yes you can that is super simple and easy so if you're trying to delete your account you would go to the second tab in the settings area and it's a little sign and you scroll all the way to the bottom and then you go to delete account and you would have to type in that code that way it can be deleted and then hit delete account they make it so it's actually kind of hard so you can't accidentally delete it and I do really like that the next question is can you block countries and IP addresses yes you can the next question is is there a way to block states on OnlyFans no I don't see that option I'm gonna actually go and try and block the US that way I can test it I don't block anything personally for me because I just I don't see the point so I just checked there's not a way to do that so the next question is how do you get your uploaded videos to play mine aren't playing it'll play for about five seconds and then stop only fans is obviously a platform there are going to be problems and glitches and personally for me before I post my content I usually make it a smaller size so I'll compress it and that seems to help a lot with the uploading process and getting better playback speeds but they do have glitches so if you're commenting that when you had a problem with it and it's a continuous problem it may be what you're doing but it also could just be the glitch that happen with the site occasionally. Next one is how do you unsubscribe? Well, you go into your messages and you tip your favorite model. Next is how can I fix my videos buffering or not loading for my fans after I posted them? So the biggest thing I would say is compress. I use handbrake.fr. If you go to that website, handbrake.fr, and you download it, that is what I use to compress my files. I've been using that for like three to four years and it's been amazing this entire time. I hope that it never changes. I compress them and usually it loads by then. Obviously, like I said before, it is a platform that's going to have some problems. Um, usually, they're always changing things like every week to make it better, but that does cause some problems overall sometimes. So if you're struggling with that, I would definitely suggest compressing your files and hopefully that will help. Also, maybe scheduling them ahead of time. That way, the media isn't still processing and it's ready to be viewed by your fans. That's all for this settings only fans video, but I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this helped you out. I hope that this was something that can help you make more money or if you're a fan and you're watching this, I hope that this is going to be able to kind of give you some insight on what models go through. I know for myself, I have had a huge learning curve. Biggest thing I would say is if you are on OnlyFans and you're struggling with settings, just play 
around with it, look at it. It's very easy for you to get overwhelmed by things. And if you were to like Google it, usually there's an answer. Or if you just look around on the site, a lot of the time it's there and you have to play around with it. There's also ways that you can drag and make one photo in a photo set, the first one. That is a new feature. I really love it. I didn't know how to use it until some girl asked me to do it for her. And I was like, wait, uh, how do I do it? Why are you asking me? So I played around with it and I found out the answer. So a lot of the times, if you don't know how to do something, you can usually figure it out because they make the site to be friendly enough where you are able to do things without having to Google it 24 seven. But I know that they're always changing the site. So this video hopefully is helpful for at least a year. <laughs> hopefully nothing changes too drastically. But um, I hope you enjoyed. If you want more of these, if you have any more questions, don't forget to comment them down below. Follow me on my socials, like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys haven't made an account, just remember I do have that referral link. And if you use it, email me with your OnlyFans link and I will uh, get back to you. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.